Anxiety is rising in northeastern Nigeria after a call by Muslim groups asking for Christian Igbos to leave the region on October 1st. The ultimatum is a response to the secessionist messages of the EPOB, a movement of the indigenous people of Biafra. Francis Oje arrived here 15 years ago and is the owner of a clothing store. For him, giving up everything he's built is out of the question. And I don't think I'm just, just going to kind of park overnight and leave the environment and leave everything I have here going back to my own state. So it will, in fact, even if I should leave, I will, it must be in a due process. In fact, I, will, I have to plan towards those things. I can't just pack my things and leave like that. I have to plan. Then if I've decided to leave, I'll leave on my own, but not someone chasing me out. The northern part of Nigeria mostly underdeveloped feels foreign to the urbanized south, which is conversely commercial and industrial. The northerners say that they are colonized economically by Igbo traders from the south. The easterners in particular feel they are marginalized. But everywhere in this country, every region has been marginalized. So there is, this is a necessity for us to sit down and think, to sit down and discuss common issues affecting us as Nigerians. Last June, Vice President Yemi Osimbajo called on local officials to calm the tensions. Too little, too late, if we are to believe lawyer David Ongunye. When I heard that they said the Igbos or the Easterners should leave the North, Yes, the governor the, or the government of the day ordinarily should have reacted promptly, calling them to order. But yes, the government did not do so until sometimes later when it started uh, getting out of hand. Nigeria is made up of nearly 250 ethnic groups. And although each community belongs to a specific region, many migrate to the four corners of the country for economic reasons. 